Hi there. Are you in Microsoft Teams and struggling to figure out how to move your files over into this environment? Um, do you have Dropbox? Maybe you have lots of files in Google Drive and you're like, well, how do I get them all over here? Seems to work really easily, possibly for my OneDrive to transition over, but Teams, it's not so much. Well, I'm going to show you the trick because it is pretty seamless to do that. So what you're going to do first off is you're going to go to the left side of your screen and notice on the very left side, the toolbar here on the left, there is an icon for files. Click on files and in files, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to add cloud storage. So if you go to add cloud storage, what happens is it'll, add, it'll give you options for other cloud storage areas. Now the example I'm going to show you is with Dropbox, how to move files from Dropbox into your team. So that example is not showing in my list here because I already have Dropbox added. So what you'd have to do at this point is if Dropbox was for something you have to add to your team's environment, you choose Dropbox here, you'd log into Dropbox like you would normally, and then it would connect your Dropbox account to your team. Now that's sorry, it connects your Dropbox accounts into the team's program. It's still not putting the files in the team yet. So we just want we need the connection first. So let's do that. So I'm going to so pretend I went through this and I did the login and everything. And now what happens is I have Dropbox on the left hand side of my screen. So I'm going to click on that. And so you can see once Dropbox is connected, all of the files from your Dropbox should be showing here. The files I'm going to use as my example are train the trainer. So if I click on that, this is what's in my Dropbox account for this folder. So the deal is if I go back out to the Dropbox, unfortunately, I mean, I can certainly select a file, but all it lets me do when I do that is delete that whole folder, which be deleting it from my Dropbox or rename it. There is a little menu here as well that lets me open it um, as an extra thing, but I can't move the whole folder uh, this way into um, my Teams area that I want to move it to. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to click on that folder that I want and I'm going to select all the files and I'm going to move all these files into my Teams area. So tip here though is make sure you have a folder ready to house these files. We don't want these files to just be wherever, right? So I'm just going to show you where I'm going to where I'm going to put them in my Teams and then I'm going to come back here and move them over. I mean, I can move or I could even choose copy. So maybe we'll do copy just so you can see it in both places. But if your intention is really to get rid of it out of Dropbox um, and put it into the team, then you might want to choose new move, but you may want to test with copy first. So let's go to the teams area on the left, click in on the teams button. And then I'm in classrooms where I'm going to put this. So if you notice under classroom, my classroom team, I have trained the trainer. So that's the folder I'm going to, the, the channel I'm going to put these files into. And in fact, if I click on train the trainer, the files are going to go under files in that channel. So if I click on files, I wanted you to see there's no files sitting here, right? Okay. So now let's go back to uh, files on the left side. Let's go back to Dropbox and we're going to open up that folder and <clears throat> train the trainer. And we're going to simply, if we want all the files, what you can do is there's a little check mark at the very top. You're going to click on that, selects all these files. And now you could choose move if you want to just say, hey, just get rid of it out of my Dropbox altogether and move it over. Or you could choose copy. Copy might be safer, especially in the beginning if you haven't done this yet, just to see how it works. And by the way, how long this takes depends on a number of factors, because if you're moving from one cloud to another, how many files are you moving at the same time and how busy is your network and how fast is your internet speed and or your Wi-Fi connection. So there's a lot of different factors. So if you had thousands of files in one folder, I might suggest for your first go around, why not select, I don't know, a dozen of them to see how fast it is and then get, you know, then select more and more. So if you want the trick for selecting without the little arrow here or check mark here, another idea for you, I'm just going to unselect all this or not. Okay. Is I can click on the top one and then hold my shift key, shift key on my keyboard and select down to this number rather than getting everything if I didn't want to choose everything. Okay. So you can just get a batch of them. Okay. But I do want to select everything. So I'll put that back there. 
So let's just choose copy. So cop copy is going to let me then choose where does it go to. So see how it gives me places to go to. So it's still saying within Dropbox. So I might want to copy it from one Dropbox folder to another, but why would I want to do that? I'm in Teams now. I don't want to use Dropbox. Um, so let's go to uh, browse Teams and channels. So if I click on that, then that gives me all of the teams that I have and I'm going to choose classroom. And then there's my folder that I showed you that's empty. So I'm going to click on train the trainer, which is really just the channel name. It's actually not, there is no folder called train the trainer. It's a channel that's called train the trainer. Okay. And so I'm going to click. So I clicked on that. If you did have a folder, it would show you folders in here. If there were other files in here, it would show them. So I'm going to choose copy and it's uploading those files. So what is taking it from the Dropbox cloud, so from this cloud, and then it's saying, okay, go over here, and it's grabbing it in the, the Teams folder uh, or Teams channel, which is just another cloud, which really is your SharePoint site. So I did pause the video and it is taking a while to upload. Uh, now the one, the Word documents are actually uploaded already, but this file that's three megs, that's a, a PDF, is taking longer to upload. So it says uploading one file on my end here. Um, so again, I'm just gonna repeat that if you are uploading uh, files, maybe just do a small, small batch to begin with uh, so you can know how fast it uploads for you. And pay, pay attention to, it's not quite the number that counts here, it's the size of the files. So pay attention to what size files you're uploading because you don't wanna be sitting there for four hours waiting for everything to get moved over. Or you might wanna do it at the end of the day, you know, before you go home or something, but do a test run, uh, one or two, test runs. So while it's uploading, I can go over to Teams, I can go over to Train the Trainer and go to Files. And there they all are. Uh, but there's one missing, the PDF is still missing. It's still not finished uploading, uh, but it will finish. Um, but I don't need you guys to have to wait till it does. But you see how easy it, it can work. Now I could have made a folder in this files area. I wanted to go into train the trainer, which is the channel name, but I could have made a folder that's called agendas or resources or whatever name makes sense. And then I could have uploaded into that folder. Now, not a big deal that I didn't make a folder. I can easily move these files around to a folder as well if I want to. So now you see how easy it is to take your files from Dropbox by making that connection first with um, the Dropbox application and your account and then picking the Dropbox folder, opening it up, selecting your files and then choosing move or copy, right? But do that test run first and have fun. Thanks. Bye-bye.